Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rogue Trader playthrough. We um, blind playthrough that is on the hardest difficulty, but you know that by now. We got 15 points of navigators inside and boy oh boy are we going to reduce the, the difficult routes um, first. So that we can actually start exploring other parts of the universe um, but for today we're starting with Pelium Solaritis uh, which will give us another navigation point and last chance of Serene okay plus we can fly around here to Narmer 5 I'm even considering flying all the way back and opening this route here to Narmer 5 because then we do have pretty decent uh, quick routes but before we do any of that let's uh, go to the Peleum Sola uh, Solitas where we are finding four stars that's good we got some excavators available so just in case we're running into nice little uh, stuff that we can mine we would have um, excavators for that and our resources are looking okay I would say uh, some of them such as weapons not that much but um, others such as uh, plasteel very much okay so let's take a look after analyzing the augure data the officers uh, were surprised to discover that the planet was once uh, converted with uh, covered with oceans long ago an unknown cataclysm caused the seas to dry out and turn the world into a lifeless desert <clears throat> the most amazing discovery of all was the skeletal remains of a colossal uh, oceanic organism some large enough to be uh, seen from orbit oh wow okay well, uh, creatures in water indeed can become uh, bigger than on land simply because uh, they don't need to support their own weight uh, with an atmosphere and high gravity. Which is why blue whales are so much larger than elephants. But you guys already know that, so I'm preaching to the acquired. Um, Okay, cool. Uh, so that was a no event, really. You haven't found anything meaningful in this sector other than, yeah, an old um, oceanic world that hasn't been there for a while. Cool. We can move to here. And we move to here. It's an unsafe warp travel, but I figured unsafe isn't that bad, so I'm trying to reduce everything to minimum unsafe. And we're traveling further to the north. The officers um, on one of the lower decks stopped providing status reports. Three days have passed since the Vox system broadcasting anything other than subdued moans and wet slapping noises. What are they doing down there? The connect uh, connection with the squad that we sent was lost. High missionary of the Adeptus Ministorium became flushed with fury and condemned uh, these designs as the arch enemy. The hotbed of heresy was cleansed with fire and prayer. By the God Emperor's grace, no perils of war prevented uh, this vessel from returning. Okay. Um, just double checking. Yeah, we're, we took some damage. Okay, we are at Narmer um, 4, and there are a couple of quests that we can do up here, but Narmer 4 rings a bell. I think that was uh, what one of the houses of our main colony has suggested us uh, to rescue first. Speaking of colonies, just double checking, you can see in order to build anything more, we need mechanisms, which we do not have. And we need weapons, which we do not have. Plus, efficiency isn't high enough. Uh, this here would be fantastic. But apparently we need... Okay, we need Bonefire of the Righteous or Good Tidings, which we also have. I wonder why can't we do those rank 3 projects then? Are they only at the very end? 
maybe we're not developed enough yet okay nothing there as well and dragonos we got a couple of uh, things going for us Fil um, filth of the expanse fellowship goes up security goes down profit factor ma mainly goes up and 20% more scrap from winning battles that's great shield of the emperor securities weapons Ooh, that's good I like that I think we're going with shield of the emperor because uh, we need weapons and security for a couple of other projects and this appears to be a good project uh, to do we're running a little bit out of projects because we're not meeting the prerequisites we got Flogiston, uh, which so far we have 10. But yeah, we're just getting more extraction going. The ship's augurs have detected a non native uh, mineral cluster on the planet's surface. Uh, probably the remains of an ancient asteroid shower. Uh, the substance is valuable, but collecting it will not be easy. Asteroid sits right above numerous underground caverns. Take a risk and send a uh, shuttle. One crew member carelessly misstepped, caused the whole network uh, to uh, collapse, not coll um, killing uh, the bludgeoning worker, but causing catastrophic chain reactions, claims of the life of the whole team. And that is unfortunate. Sacrifices were made. Got another fragment. That's good. And we got provisions. Provisions would be fantastic. Uh, we can definitely use them. Unfortunately for us, I think there isn't much we can do at the moment. Uh, currently, the only thing that we can do here is trade in people, and I really don't want uh, to do that. Uh, there are provisions. How, how many, by the way? Oh, just one? Okay, that, that's not that's not worth it. Although, can we get more... Uh, can we get more... Uh, extractors is the question. I don't know where. We would need to find them unfortunately but what I know very well is uh, that we're going to have a fight with some space pirates let's go baby I'll test my new toys and get uh, the, those sweet sweet weapon upgrades space battles are fun I really thoroughly enjoy them it's a bit unfair from time to time because you don't know what you're getting yourself into And sometimes you're just getting hit. Oh, wow. Well, I suppose you, my friends, scorch our enemies. We we'll need to take a really solid banging from us. Couple of uh, misses, unfortunately. I wish we could uh, fly over there uh, to hit them from the other side. Well, that's a good start. Uh, these guys will be coming hot and heavy from behind. Uh, we're moving to here. And let's strengthen our shield to the right hand side. Also, Unleash torpedoes. Torment. Okay, end of turn.
Torpedoes. Taking a nice little route. We're frying them. Unfortunately, a bit of a miss. Good, one down. Couple more to go. Let the Empyrean guide us. We're taking space. Restarting our shields. And we could theoretically jump to here, which we are going to do. Let's go. They're trying to hit our torpedoes. Futile effort, if you ask me. Interestingly enough, they... <coughs> made it so that... They could avoid the torpedoes. Don't like that. Let's try that again. One of them needs to change course so that we're isolating the other one. We're turning around, nicely so. Getting back onto course. Send Couple more torpedoes. To and shield to the front. Let's go, boys. Sure, if you shield to the side, to be fair. But these guys are now right in uh, on front of our torpedoes, which I appreciate a lot. These torpedoes are fine. And these torpedoes, bam! Destroy the vessel. Let destruction pour forth. Let the Empyrean guide us. Into the cold void. Emblazon our path. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Oh, down to one HP. I, I see. Okay. Strengthening the right shield, and we're Gucci. <laughs> Very good. Okay. That was our 10th uh, space battle that we won. And I know that for a fact because the game just gave us a uh, an achievement for it. Nice. Okay, well, we did... Uh, well, once uh, we got the pain train rolling, everything was good. I don't know about the ramming too much. It hasn't really worked out that well. But I'll upgrade it one more level. Keeping enough scraps. Not sure why pirates were securing this planet because there's nothing on it. But Okay, it's not always logical. Maybe it was their hideout, and we have just uh, haven't just found it. Good time to warp travel to here. Chart a couple new routes. Let's go, baby. That's exactly what I wanted to see.
Lord Captain, we've cross-referenced the key characteristics of the system with our astronomical chart data. The planet Via Boss uh, 6 is located here. The problem is the orchards detect an unusual uh, change in the atmosphere, not unlike a massive release of toxins. It appears something unfortunately has happened to the planet's underground storage facility. It is impossible to land safely on the planet just now. Unknown ships are cruising the systems. Hmm. No need for any cock to analyze it. I can decipher this telemetry easily. Xenos. Uh, the armory and artillery crews are standing by. Okay. And Drukhari void ships. Oh, this is not going to be fun. We're going to engage with them as soon as we've found out more about these planets. Got an, a lava world there. It's a good system. Lots of planets, but... We're not getting a lot uh, from it. Gas giant. That's a good start. This planet can barely sustain life. And yet, Search has discovered a long uh, lost Imperial colony, one that was cut off from the rest of the galaxy centuries ago. The colonists live in condition worse uh, than any underhive. And they still venerate the Emperor and gladly welcome the visitors. The Lord Captain receives an invitation from the local ruler and Arc Queen Princeps Domina. The ruler meets uh, Lord Captain in check, considering to be a palace by the people here. Um, the Arch Queen's unusual crown is made out of metal coils, most likely parts of an ancient device for boiling water. The guests are served the finest delicacies of uh, the colonies uh, that the colonies can provide. The Arch Queen's praised the visitors in a mangled low Gothic and calls the Lord Captain her dear brother. At the end of the audience, gifts are presented to the guests. The Arch Queen's minister uh, delicately remarks that the best possible gift for the Lord Captain and his crew uh, could be provided uh, to be replenished for the colonies Mianger gene pool. Lord Captain gives orders to Canvaneers the lower deck for volunteers the most rugged and handsome amongst them will be sent to the Arch Queen's court <laughs> with other gifts. All right it's volunteers right so let's go with that. The Arch Queen delightfully is flattered she hopes that the Lord Captain will pay her more visits in the future. Um, well, we have already explored that. It's interesting. Could have been a colony, um, but I'm not sure if colonizing this would have made uh, a lot of sense. Good. Let me just check real quick before we go into another star battle whether or not uh, we can buy more excavators and get our uh, our fame up with the different other factions. All right. Short version. There is nothing that we can do at the moment to get more excavations, but I leveled up the characters since uh, they got an additional level, which is fine. However, that will not do us any good in space combat specifically against Drukhari um, which are the worst of the Eldari so let's see what the, what they are going to do I'll be your beacon in the darkness two versus one what one are we de dealing with 90 and 90 and they do have last heated uh, frigate uh, frigate um what is that an eerie unfortunate haze obscures them enemies suffer a penalty to hit when attacking from within two cells and attacking minus 75 when attacking outside of range so we need to get really close with them then they do have a scythe a twin linked battery and some shadow lances doesn't really look like a comfortable fight that we're taking here This one looks at us, this one also looks at us. So, four starters, warp weave. If this one turns around, uh, then it will fly in this direction. Wow, 
can't even hit it. I are you serious? Come on. Well, we could go to here and then try that. Or we're keeping our sweet distance. Uh, that gets us into a bad position. Or we're facing them head on. We need to deal damage. That's a given. So this is a 75% chance to miss. And it successfully does that. We're shifting over. Very good. Strengthen the front uh, shields. That's all we can do at this point, really. Nothing more. Ouch. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. And these guys are mobile. Holy hell no, that was uh, that was harsh. Uh, we need a full fledged turnaround maneuver, followed by warp jump. And let's start hitting these guys. That's a good hit. Flying over to here. Barely out of range. That's unfortunate. Um, restarting shields. Shielding that right side because they will turn around. Uh, torpedoes won't uh, reach them. More torpedoes. To the void. Turning these guys around so that they can't reach us that simple. And we, we gotta start dealing with them. The other option is we're disengaging and are trying again. Let's go for that. Target. Trying to be in there. In there. Uh, out of their engagement range. That well, failed spectacularly. Oh, there's going to be a close one. We can't force them to move around. We can't hit them either. Strengthen our front shields and pray. Oh, what a close battle. <laughs> 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 
And that, children, is why you always want to um, heal up full. Okay, what do we have available? Vulnerability scan, I like that one. Highlight weakened points, yep. And then we got a couple of uh, new abilities, cooler abilities, all hands on deck. Uh, torpedo tubes are loaded uh, with three torpedo salvos instead of one. Okay, that's good, boarding party. Uh, flagship launches a boarding party to infiltrate enemy ship. Hmm. Starting internal fires and possibly causing engine damage to cripple the ship for a round. Then we got, at the end of the turn, the most damaged uh, sector of the flagship shields restored up to 50%. That's a really good one. Imperial Storm, flagship makes seven attacks, each of which targets a random enemy in an eight cell range and deals warp damage. That's, that is really nice. Until the end of the combat, flagship speed increased by two. Maneuverability increases by one. Uh, plus one round f uh, for every 10 points in the athletic skill. I think this is the best so far because the biggest problem oftentimes is maneuverability. Flagships auger scans the area to favorable tactical position. Now we're going with that. I like it. Your ship now has access to ultimate ability. It can drastically change the tide of the battle. Ultimate abilities are so powerful that they take significant longer to recharge. Okay, got you. Yeah, we're level four. And unfortunately that repair was costly. But the Drukhari aren't to be toyed around with. They were they were very strong. Swift and merciless retribution is a proper fate for many transgressors, but the Imperium permits using convicts for hard labor in distant prisons, wo uh, worlds like Vibus uh, 6, to atone for their crimes before humankind, hundreds and thousands of rogues and lowlifes toil the mines until death from exhaustion or some other unfortunate accident claims their forsaken soul. So it's basically um, convicting them to a death sentence without directly convicting them uh, to it. Okay. Death by hard, uh, do hard, due to hard labor. Uh, no, that's not correct. This here is correct. Leobor 6 always was a penal world. But this, even the miscreants of this place do not deserve such a fate. I believe many of them do, but not at the hands of Xenos. I tread a path unexplored. Okay. Enthralled gladiator. Are you kidding me? Tarzana. Uh, mercenary Zaliath, what is this? Is one of the sisters found an amusing trinket in the runes that saves the, sus, uh, it to a special treat for the Archon? The Xenos takes a quick lo look over her shoulder towards the platform where few silhouettes and tar black armor can be seen. The Drukhari. Of the breed are known as witches, psych, and they are experts in bloodletting arenas on the battlefield. However, I'm more interested in the ones skulking in the shadows. Judging by their armor, they're high-ranking representatives of the Cabal, military clique um, from the Drukhari demise. Okay. By whose uh, leave are you playing lord on my world? The monkey understands my speech. 
Where did you come by the device that can translate our language? Are you trying to impress me by appearing useful? Such uh, words will earn you about uh, in the ring at most. Uh, without weapons and soon without your skin. The humans scattered around you on the platform stare as if they've seen a ghost. The eyes of some be uh, betray their fear, others glance with bestial hatred and yet more look upon you with hope. Who are you? My name is known to everyone on this planet, Monkey. I'm Tzara, the Deliverer. Tzara, the Beven Benevolent, and the one who grants respite from the choking grasp of the world. I decide uh, who lives, who dies, blah, 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 blah. How, um, I'm a rogue trader, the Empress anointed, guardian of humanity, and your doom, Xeno scum. Oh, what a passion! And naive arrogance when this turns into boundless despair of clinging terror, my guests, uh, then I will savor such exquisite pleasure. From the dust behind Stazara comes a cry. The distance between you and the Xenos is too great for the illiquidator to Im uh, interpret the words, but the tone was clear. Persuasion uh, minus 15. Do you truly wish to die in the Xenos' behest? We join forces now. We can end the scentless carnage once and for all. Uh, so they say we die anyways. Might as well do it without a heretic brand. Uh, slay the beasts. That's what I'm talking about. You were but a fleeting flame before my tempest. I will revel in your pain. Okay, so these guys are neutral is what I'm taking from it. And we're ambushed. That's also what I'm taking from it. And we got a couple of Drukari here. Finally, Xenos. Um, Argenta gets this and this, and we're good. Cassia. If we move to here and we point this somewhere back there, does that work? No. And if we move to here and we point this, does that work? The answer seems to be more like a yes. Alright, if we move to here. Okay, they have six Drukari there. I'm just trying to get uh, as many of them as possible. Three is fine. Uh, so I can get a buff and we're putting up a couple of zones. Let's do this. Backline zone can be right over here. And we got Isn't another zone there. The cool. Pascal does have a new overwhelming stratagem. Grand strategist chooses one combat area for one round. Uh, mm, uh, all attacks by allies in that area inflict uh, the overwhelming. Uh, mm, okay, that's cool. I like that. Running by Derek. I uh, should have potentially chosen one of the back lines. I'm not sure how this works. Uh, the wording is a bit off. It could mean that you need to be in the zone in order for the overwhelming uh, thing to uh, to work, or uh, that the target zone is the one where it's going to work. But either way, we're, we're going to find out very soon. Cool. Let's hit this Drukari scum. A couple of dodges, couple of hits. I think that's fair. And upgrade uh, this area there. We're good. Can't hit anyone there. The question is, could I from here? No, the answer is no.
All right, let's do this. Hmm, somehow we've not really done a great job in hitting everyone. Wouldn't want to hit our friends, would we? Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I am a navigator. Debuffing. And Me. buffing Argenta. If you insist, Lord Captain. Who? Could hit a couple of these guys, actually. If we were to hit all of uh, you, does that hit anyone in the way? Yeah, of course it does. Doubt is for the weak. As the Emperor commands you, strike is a prayer. Fantastic. Run gun. And we're going over here. Uh, let me educate you on the art of pain. Well, so far you've been properly... S what, what does this guy do back here? Oh, he ran from all the way to here, but how did he... Do that. Okay, well, hmm. I bring That's unfortunate. Pain is all. Hey, Let's me. get to Good, Arbelard, my man. First of I all, brace for impact for everyone. Secondly, this Drukari here will receive a big, fat, nice lesson to not deal with us. This, this, and hit him. Alright, very good. The humans are actually super good, and so far not no one uh, here has perished. Uh, we're doing a bit of Faith this. Um, and this. I'll and this. It. And uh, here we go. As the Emperor commands. Alright, my bad. I thought they could... Uh, mm, Evade as well. That, that apparently was not the case. Oops. That unfo unfortunately was not the case. I'll do it. <laughs> you call this a strike? <laughs> yes, I call that a strike. A good one. To be precise. Pain and duty go yeah, hand in yeah. Okay. What are you doing? That was weird. But of course. Anti Xenos, uh, the man of uh, the hour, is good old Heinrichs here. Who is going to give himself For the, the buff? Glory. Let's uh, take defensive measures. I like that. And we need to engage in Get combat. Me which means... Oops. That was a miss. Let's try again. There we go. Heinrich, good job. He's up to three. Time Fantastic. To Let's get to it. Uh, I will. 
All right, four starters, uh, everybody gets that, and that, and then Argenta gets a full turn. Which she can use as she pleases, and she pleases to deal 120 points of damage with her bolter? What? I refuse. I will not. I'll do it. Doubt is for the weak. Eradicated. Good. So much for that. Uh, you guys are all evading. Might as well give the Xenos here a hard time. Fantastic. Without deeds is worth it. Strike is a prayer. I'm bored of this farce, Tazara. Who rules the arena? You or the others? All right, she leaves. The Drukari are arrogant bastards, but uh, they are As the commands, I act. a cool species, uh, nonetheless. Good, free reload. That is and free reload, and thing. we're good. Uh, Saiken is happy with how his uh, turn and his ultimate has uh, turned out. Oh, he can deal up to 200 points of damage, that's crazy. Let's try this because it's gonna be fun. This into this, up to 360. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see the damage, but it was one shot. Fantastic. The surviving fa uh, fighters turn their heads towards you one after the other. All eyes to you on the battlefield. Um. By destroying these foul Xenos, you have atoned for your uh, transgressions against the Emperor. Get to the shuttle. The rest of you will be subject to selective punitive uh, servitization. Well, we are a dogmat. There you go. Nice. Got a poison blade and which armor? We're just. Uh, splinter pistol. Yeah, we got a couple of uh, those. The world trembles beneath my feet. Okay, we don't need too many of uh, these. The world will bow. Meditation is terminated. Executing request. Let's see. All right. The opportunity. Well, that seems to be just the beginning. As far as I'm concerned, there might be more. She certainly fled, so that's a bit of uh, foreshadowing here. Intriguing. Good. Next logical question is how do we get anywhere from here? Embrace true power. She left the scene. Ooh, that's good armor. That's actually pretty good armor. Who's wearing medium? I think Pascal is, if I'm not mistaken. 
And I think our Sister of Battle is... Everybody else is in light armor. Hmm. Yeah, we're fine. The world trembles beneath my feet. Can we get up there? No. I tread a path unexplored. Can we jump over somehow? Well, except those gates, I don't really see another way of uh, getting further. It seems that the map's actually ended uh, right there. Hours unseen, it was just this little path. spectacle. And maybe we can find something else on, on uh, the world. A captain who calls himself Master Inspector. Okay, what? was the quest uh, chemicals what else all allies gain critical damage that's good ten percent extra dodge Hmm, I think this one here is good. Efficiency, plat steel, a couple of people's chemicals. Let's go. Yeah, there isn't anything else that we can do. It was just a small intermezzo with them, so to speak. Well, see, that's also a good uh, place to leave today's episode uh, because we've done a lot. We even fought a gladiator uh, gladiatorial battle, which was fun. In uh, that sense, thanks a lot uh, for watching. If you want uh, to support uh, the uh, series, uh, then do the gladiator move by body slamming into that like button. And see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.